All right, trying to figure out how much alcohol to get for an event. And this is one of Lindsay's questions here in the group. I mean, she said, do you guys have a favorite beverage alcohol calculator? One that seems to be accurate based on the events that you have worked. I was a little confused by the question. She cleared it up. She said, since we are a dry hire, it would be for the client to use when purchasing based on the amount of guests. So if you're unfamiliar with a dry hire, it just means the client has hired Lindsay for the trailer and the bartending services, and they are going to provide the alcohol and take on the liability, essentially. And I have a lot of, I have a couple good examples, but check out mobilebarhub.com. All of these free videos will be there if you're building your business over there in the owner's hub and create a free profile. We're going to be getting a lot of traffic to this site. We have a lot of plans to run ads, get more content there. There's going to be a lot of people looking for your services. So create a free profile and go check it out. But here are some of the basics is rule of thumb for us that hasn't failed us is one drink per guest per hour. Each guest averages really around one drink. It really averages around there and it hasn't failed us. Number two is we found out that when we have good signature drinks and hard alcohol and it's an open bar, people tend to stay away from wine. And we've had events where, you know, it was one of our friends events actually recently. He was like, this is a big wine drinking crowd and he bought cases and cases of really good wine. We literally popped open two bottles because the signature drinks, people love them. Third, the more options that you give the clients when they're trying to figure this out, the more confused they're going to get. Your job is just to keep it simple when you're communicating to them and just give them a baseline and they can add specialty things or add kind of whatever they want at the end. And drink variants are also very helpful in these scenarios, especially people are budget conscious. Use the same alcohol and make a bunch of signature drinks by using you know, Tito's and a type of liqueur or Tito's and different types of, of mixers. And so here's an example, 75 guests for four hours. What I'm gonna say to the client, I'll send an email and I'll say your magic number is 300 drinks. This is your baseline. If you want to play it safe, it could be 350 or 400. You can buy some backup bottles. But here's what the menu is. Maybe we've talked about a couple signature drinks, but we'll do the Tuscan Pear Seltzer. That's like muddled pear. It's got the Tito's in there. It's got club soda and a little bit of Sprite. We've got the John Daly Raspberry Hard Seltzer. All those are using vodka. Margarita, raspberry margarita then the white wine and maybe an IPA. We'll either put that on tap or we'll get some cans. Usually for something of this size with these types of drinks, we go with the cans. So here's the store list. I'll say this is what you need to get. Four handles of Tito's, we'll get you 140 drinks ballpark. Three handles of tequila, whatever you decide. 105 drinks, five Pinot Grigio bottles. 20 drinks, we'll probably end up serving like two bottles of that, one handle of brown. So if people come up and they ask, you know, I want a bourbon and Coke, we'll at least have that there. All day IPA, we'll get 30 cans, two bottles of raspberry liqueur that'll allow us to do the raspberry margarita as well as the raspberry vodka club. And that really is helpful for people that like Truly and stuff like that. And you could say when they're asking for Truly as well, say that's like malt liquor. That's pretty bad. That's hangover in a can, which it is. This is a lot cleaner. We have some fresh fruit that we put in it as well. This is a lot better. So that allows you to really just buy more handles of Tito's. And when you don't use certain bottles, they can return it or they can keep it. And it just keeps all of this very simple. And when they get this baseline, they'll look at this and they'll start to say, okay, we'll run with this. And they'll usually say, oh, this uncle likes gin, or it would be nice to have this one drink that I saw. So maybe we'll get this one or two bottles and when it runs out, whatever. So let me know if you have any questions. And again, check out mobilebarhub.com. Come make a profile, come join the free group. If you're a mobile bar owner, link is down below. Love yous. We'll see you in the next one.